Mr. Dan Donaldson is the vice president of Catholic Men's Leadership Alliance. And there's a new uh, online um, vid, uh, conference that's going to be happening. It's February the 17th at 11 a.m. Mr. Donaldson, thanks for being with us today. Thanks so, uh, so much for having me on. It's a blessing. You know, your title is Heroic Manhood, and we need men today who are heroes. And the culture does not tend to promote heroism, does it? No kidding. That's absolutely true. In fact, I think uh, the culture is now, uh, if if the topic of masculinity is spoken about, it's preceded uh, by an adjective, toxic. Yes. um, that's and and it's actually looked down upon now, um, and just in general, and and, and really think t- desperately misunderstood. Uh, that uh, not only in the culture, but even in terms of of the faith. You know, we've talked about in many ways the uh, feminization of Catholicism and uh, and how we can again. I don't want to say masculinize it, but let men know that they have an essential role to play in Christianity. I mean, after all, our God and Savior is Jesus Christ, and he's a man. Amen. 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 We do have a central role to play, and it's not a toxic one. It's a one of love. Uh, and I was just thinking about this. Uh, St. Pope John Paul the Great said, the opposite of love is not hate. It's use. And we're toxic as men when we use, when we when we are domineering, when we are passive. Well, we're still we're still seeking our our own betterment. We're still self seeking rather than self giving. And I, I think true heroic manhood, which is what Chris Stefanik is going to talk about, is self gift. It's it's completely giving to the other, and and we could go on and on and on. You could get me on the soapbox there. Well, that's okay. Um, but tell us about what Chris Stefanik. He's going to be giving this talk uh, on the seventeenth online, huh? Yes, that's correct. Simply go to heroicmen.com to register for free. It's at 11 a.m. Eastern, and Chris Stefanik, who is a very popular author and speaker, will be speaking on heroic manhood. It's a free event. It's totally free, and I would encourage you to not only join by yourself, gentlemen, uh, invite other men to join with you, and uh, you can gather together. We're going to have uh, the talk with Chris, and we're going to have actually an open Q and A with him afterward. And you could actually gather together as men and discuss this topic of true heroic masculinity together. And you know, maybe you can grab a pizza and and, and have a beer while you're at it. Well, you know, being this being live and having questions and the answers, can the different men to tune in? Is there a way for them to to ask questions or text questions to Chris while you're there? There, there will be ways to, so men can definitely text their questions, but we're going to have a, a, a live Q&A through our, our Heroic Brotherhood platform after the main event. So those that want to join us can, can do that. And we will, it will be a, a bit limited for the numbers that we can accommodate, uh, but we definitely want to invite guys to join us there and uh, talk open, uh, openly with Chris. Well, I guess, you know, we're talking with Dan Donaldson about the upcoming online uh, men's conference that will happen February the 7th at 11 a.m. Uh, on heroic manhood. And I guess one of the important things with this is that uh, men aren't by nature lone rangers. We'll do it if we have to, but we'd rather be an army, you know. And I think this is where the army of men can come together, of Catholic men, can actually reclaim uh, their role. Amen. You know, in Hebrews, he just hit on one of my favorite verses in Scripture, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 and 25. Let us consider how to lift up one another to love and good works, not forsaking the gathering together as is the habit of some, but encouraging each other and all the more as the, as we see the day drawing near. Men, we, we need each other. Men need men. 
and we need to lift each other up in brotherhood. And when we do that, we take each other to the next level. It's uh, it's just exciting. And life becomes more exciting when you live it with brothers. It does. And, you know, I think oftentimes when people, I know I know a lot of veterans, and they say that's one of the things they remember mm. about their time in, in the Army. They learn that these people around them, that they have your back and you have their back, and there, there's a bond. And to regain that bond among the bond of faith among men is something that it would, it would be so powerful for, for us to do. It's desperately needed. In fact, there's uh, the new evangelization survey that was done a few years back found that 55% of Catholic men in Catholic parishes know fewer than 10 men on a first-name basis. And then it's upwards of 35% of men do not even have one close personal friend. And so there's this, that's where a, a huge we have a massive gap, and that's what we're all about at Heroic Men, is helping men grow in brotherhood with one another and uh, find just that, exactly what we all need. Well, it's like anything else. The devil knows if we're by ourselves, he can pick us off one by yes. one. But if we're with a group, we become much more formidable because, of course, that group is not centered around manliness. That group is centered around Christ, and in that, we can't be beat. And Jesus, and Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So uh, I love that. Thank you for sharing that. That's true. We've been speaking today with Dan Donaldson, Vice President of the Catholic Men's Leadership Alliance, about the free online Heroic Manhood Conference coming up February 17th at 11. Dan, where can people sign up to attend this? Heroicmen.com. Heroicmen.com. We'll put that up at our show notes at sacredheartradio.com. Thanks for being with us today. I hope God blesses your work. Thank you so much, and God bless you too and all of your listeners. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now you can use Venmo to give to Sacred Heart Radio. 